baby fired up. Oh, come on, come on. It's a little cold today. There she goes. Don't worry about these lights. It's it's custom. No big deal. up a little bit what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so uh, last night we tried making some pulls just on gate pressure I wish I had filmed it but it was really slow it's only on gate so it's making like two pounds and literally I messaged London and I was like man I think, this, I think this thing's freaking out it's pulling timing because it was so slow and then I remembered it was on gate pressure so it's making like two and a half pounds so yeah so we're gonna we just got the one co2 bottle filled I need to get another one but I uh, just got the CO2 bottle filled for the truck. And uh, we're gonna try adding a little bit of boost, maybe like six or eight on top of the dome. So like I said, it's gate pressure, so it's only making like two, two and a half. So we'll probably throw like another six or eight on there. Um, but so far, he said everything still looks pretty normal. Air fuel looks good. Truck's not pulling timing. Throttle's wide open. It hasn't cut the throttle yet. Um, we did get one throttle code yesterday, so we're kind of keeping an eye on that, see what it does. But without further ado, Let's go see if we can make a pull in this thing. All right, so we got the AMS in test mode. I ended up putting 10 on there. That'll be all right. This is gonna be really hard to film and shift and film. I have no shocks right now. They get here tomorrow, but we ain't got time to wait to data log, baby. We're on crunch time right now. Holy oh, shit. It's actually doing fine. We got no shocks, guy. Okay? Sounds crazy though. This thing is so sick. Oh yeah, auto power windows, baby! Street truck, damn it!
is so damn fun. Trans brake and bump box. Superchargers are cool and all, but something about just hitting a trans brake and bumping it is just so much fun. So that was only, what did I, I said only like 3,000 RPM and like five pounds of boost. It wasn't much at all for the launch. Just trying to function test, make sure everything works. But once again, we have no shocks. So of course it's not going to really do anything, but just uh, going through all the functions of the AMS, making sure that stuff's working. It works so far in test mode. Uh, trans brake and the activation, all that stuff's working. Bottle's working. You hear the solenoids clicking uh, when you do the activation switch on the AMS. So, so far, everything's looking pretty good. I sent two logs to Lund earlier, and those were just 10 pound pulls. So, the problem was it was spinning like crazy, even rolling into it just because there's literally no shocks back there. It's just a leaf spring truck with no shocks, but I was trying to get him some data, but I'm sure he's going to say the truck was just spinning too much. Um, one of the biggest issues though, that we do need to solve, as you guys can see, is there's no speedo right now. So that's because of the nine inch swap in the back. And so we're gonna have to rig something up. I don't know. Somehow we're gonna have to get some type of wheel back there so that the speed sensor could pick it up so i don't know about that one i don't know that one's to be determined i don't have an answer for that one quite yet but we'll work on something because that's one of the things lund really wants to log is so you can you know compare the speedo to what the car is doing and oh that might be him messaging me back right now nope just kidding it was not so i'm pretty excited though so far everything is going okay um i won't know till he reviews these logs if it's pulling timing um, and you guys will, you can kind of hear the truck. It's struggling. Like it picks up and then it kind of struggles. And that's cause that's the trying to get past the converter flash and the converter is just set up for a lot more power. So this thing's going to need a lot more than 10 pounds of boost to get past that converter flash. So obviously that stuff will get better. The more boost we give it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It's really fun driving this thing around. <laughs> it's so awesome. Uh, I don't know something about, I really loved this truck when I bought it. And I had this vision for it. And you know when you build something for a long time and it finally comes to fruition, it's it's really cool. So um, that's why we build cars. That's it's what we love doing. Like when we customer picks up a car and they drive it and everything's good, um, it's really a cool moment. And when we drive them and do the pulls and stuff, it, it's really a cool moment. So I get to feel that myself for once. For once. I know. It's crazy. So it's okay to work on your own stuff, people. We're getting everybody squared away for 2K. So... Mine's pretty much almost done. Hopefully, just the tuning and maybe the speedo. And uh, I did buy some weight to hang also, so I, I want to share that with you guys because even a four-wheel drive truck, you know, you, when you're doing some no prep, you still might want to hang some weight in the rear. So I did buy some stuff, some lead ballast and stuff and some clamps to hang some weight. So this thing's really going to need it because I put it on the scales and the weight bias is crazy, crazy, crazy. It's like 60% on the nose, 63. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty heavy in the nose. So I bought some weight to hang on the rear because I think that'll help a ton. Obviously some shocks, some, sho some shocks would be great, which they'll be here tomorrow. So hopefully this weekend we'll do a couple more hits with Lund and the shocks and turn up the boost. And once everything looks good, then we'll essentially try and get to a track. There is a, a rental next Thursday, but I'm really trying to get Barry's car ready for that, which I've been waiting on two damn parts this whole time. Not this whole time, but uh, two damn parts for like the last two weeks on Barry's, which we still have like some small tidying up stuff to do on Barry's car before it's there. But we really need these two main parts. So there's a rental next Thursday. My idea is to take Barry's car there. If for some reason, so Barry bought the spot, that way we have it. And if for some reason his car doesn't make it, then I'll take my truck to the rental. Um, I just don't really care to take my truck to the rental because I'm not trying to like win TX2K. I just want to like go down the track, make some A to B passes and kind of showcase the truck and the work we did on it. And then obviously after that, then we'll really start hammering it. But we just don't have enough time to get like some really good track data with the suspension stuff. Obviously we're gonna try and go as fast as we can, but I don't expect it to do much because of all the changes with the suspension and stuff. So I'm just happy the car or the truck is running, driving, it's getting under boost. And so far the computer hasn't completely freaked out. So that's a win for sure. And we're just gonna keep building on that. So. Hope you guys enjoy the videos on the F-150. We got a lot of F-150s here. We got a lot to build and a lot to upgrade. And we got some really cool projects coming. And uh, see you guys on the next one.